Right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for joining me on another beautiful day. It is chilly out here, but it seems like me and you need to have a little bit of a chat. So last week, if you guys saw the video, I did. I traded my FZ09 and got an FZ07. And a lot of you asked me questions like, why did you do that? Like, I like the bike, I do. But why would you downgrade to the FZ07? Most people upgrade, but why did you downgrade? You know, quote unquote, to me. Some people think it's downgrade, but I don't personally. And I wanna tell you guys about why. Because there's a lot of things that just really went into it. Um, but yeah, this video is gonna really answer those questions for you guys, because I know you guys are super curious. And it is, it is important. Um, yeah, it's definitely a big change, but so far I'm absolutely loving it. I've been riding it all the time, and it's been great. So uh, first off though, you guys haven't seen it yet. It's had a bit of a, uh, it's had a bit of a makeover since last week. So uh, let's go check it out. Okay, so now you guys have seen her in all her glory. What do you think? Because I love it. It couldn't have came out better. I had the wheels at the powder coater for like a week, so I didn't get to ride it. And it sucks not getting to ride your brand new bike. And I was like, oh my gosh. But it was so worth it because these wheels look so good. And I hope you guys think so too. So let me know down below. Do you guys love the white wheels or do you hate them? If you hate them, then you probably hate it on the FZ09 as well. Also, I'm going to put a poll in the top left of your screen, or top right, whatever. Do you think the FZ09 looks better or the FZ07? Because right now, I'm conflicted, but I think the FZ07 looks better. Oh my god, it looks so good. Alright, well we can't do this video without going for a ride. So let's go for a ride and talk about why I traded the FZ09 for the FZ07. Well, the first reason, of course, is the freaking sound oh it sounds so good you would never like expect a bike that looks like this to sound like that right it just sounds so good it's just so different from like sport bikes and i oh god it sounds so good all right let's go for a ride so let's get down to the nitty gritty of this guys let's just be real i was bored of the fz09 i I've been riding it for the last three and a half years and it just wasn't doing it for me anymore. It really wasn't. So then we are like, why the heck would you get something smaller, something with less power? Well, let me tell you, I am a small guy. I'm like five feet seven, I'm five eight, right around there. I weigh like 150 pounds. I'm not saying that bike was too big for me. It fit me well, but this thing just fits me. It like, it's like this was meant to be for someone my size. It's got like 75, 80 horsepower, like big deal. It's not slow by any means, by any means at all. But it is getting my my fun factor back from riding. I was bored of riding. Like I just rode basically because it was more economical. I rode my FZ09 because it was, not because it was fun to ride right now. I was bored of it. I was sick of it. Because every time I go out and ride, I'd have to break laws, I'd go over 100 miles an hour, and that to me is just isn't fun. Like, I don't need to go 100 miles an hour to have fun. I don't, it doesn't, that does not, that doesn't make me happy. Like, I don't need a sport bike. I don't want a 1,000cc that I can go 200,000 miles per hour. I don't give a shit. I don't. But this thing, where I like to have fun, is from zero to like 60. This thing has plenty of power from zero to 60. There's definitely enough torque. Like, this thing to 100 is pretty fast. Like, definitely not the FZ09 territory, but it's fast enough for me. And, like, I don't really care to go any faster than that. I don't want to go faster than the 100. But I guarantee you, this bike will outride the FZ09 because it's lighter, it's more nimble, it just 
falls over. I barely try and this thing is just leaning. It just wants to lean. So you guys think with your 600cc sport bikes, 1000cc sport bikes, yeah, you'd probably be faster on a racetrack, but take those on some twisties and you're not, I guarantee you, unless you're like a, you, you track ride all the time, I guarantee you I could keep up with you. Like me and my friends could keep up with you riding your sport bikes. Even though I have not even close to the near as much power as you guys have. It's just more fun doing it this way. Like, you know that old saying, it's more fun to ride a slow car, slow bike, fast than it is to ride to drive, ride or drive a fast car slow. Well, that's exactly this case. This bike is slow to you guys, so you think I'm downgrading. But that is not the case. This thing is fast. It's quick enough and it does amazing wheelies. <laughs> And I'm having fun with it. That hurt. Downshifted for me. And I'm having fun with it, man. Like, it is just bringing back a new life for me in riding. I, I know that doesn't make any sense. If you just love riding, you just have to go out and ride. But I was so over having to go so fast to, you know, like every time I rode that bike, I just had to speed. Doing wheelies, I sped. Going like from here to there is so fast. You just twist the throttle 20% and you're speeding. This thing, another characteristic that is so cool about this bike is that you can tell the difference between 10% throttle and 50% throttle and 100% throttle. There is a monumental difference. Like you know when you're at full throttle. You know when you're at half throttle. On the FZ09, 50% felt like 100%. It was like an on, it was like a light switch. Where this thing, you know you're giving it full throttle. And I guarantee you, yeah, maybe not these long twisties. You know what, screw it. Let me just stop talking and let me show you why this thing is so fun. because I can wring its neck and actually use the power. I can't use the MZ09's power anywhere except on a straightaway or going 100 miles an hour. So I pulled off to the side of the road just because I was like, you know what? I was thinking about it. I was like, why do I actually like this thing? Like, why is this thing, why did I upgrade or downgrade as you guys think? from my FZ09 to something less powerful like the FZ07. And I think truly the sole reason is just I'm having more fun with this bike. Because, like I was saying earlier, it's more fun to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow. And I can use the power of this thing on roads, on you know like normal streets, and not go 100 million miles an hour. But I can rail the thing and it's fun, man. It's like it brings back that joy of riding that I forgot about. Like, I forgot why I loved to go riding. I was just riding because it was economical, because it was more efficient, I could get places quicker. But I wasn't riding because I loved riding anymore. And I just kind of forgot about it. And then I got back on, and then I, you know, got this bike. And it brought that love back. Like, I think about it all the time. Like, dude, I just want to go riding with my friends. I just want to go out and explore and do new things. And just ride my bike. Because it's so fun. And that's what this thing is. It's just literally it's just fun like it's quick it's nimble it's light and it's meant for someone my size to be honest i'm not saying this is a better bike i'm not saying it's better than the fz09 but i'm not saying it's worse it's just it checked the boxes for things i needed and it just makes me happy riding it it brings back that love that i forgot about you know while riding and that's really that's really all there is to it like it's not better it's not worse but it's perfect for me. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect for you guys, but it is for me. I can't explain it, but there's a reason that all my friends have one, and there's a reason they haven't upgraded from this thing to the 9. Right? Does that make sense? Why do I see so many more FZ07s on the road than the 9? It's just 
better for what we need it to do. And I'm not a track rider. I ride on the streets with my friends and this thing is just does what we need on the streets perfectly. And that's really all I can say about it, man. I know that reasoning isn't perfect, but it is, I don't know, man, it just brought back that love and that's all I can say about it. It's just perfect for me. Might not be perfect for you, but it is for me. And I'm just loving it again, guys, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and that is it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.